respected students welcome back everyone so today we are going to discuss one of the most important question of the second technical round okay also known as logical scenarios round and the question is the top five things you must consider before handling over power bi report to client or once you productionize your report from uat to production after uat sign off from client what five things you should check before giving that link to client or before sending the email to the client okay so that proper we are going to discuss see i had worked on many many power bi reports and at least six to seven projects from that my personal experience i am going to tell you what are the five things which you, you should take into consideration so before starting the video if you are new on our channel make sure to subscribe and press bell icon for all of my videos and follow us on social media especially instagram so the first thing what you should consider is that once you publish the report check the loading time of the report okay check in chrome mozilla edge whatever your history or that app you are using browsing app that you should check on that with single user also you check and with concurrent user also so once you publish your uh, report uh, take that link and check on all that uh, chrome and all those okay and with single user also and with concurrent users means like send that link to four or five of your power bi developers in the team and at the single time hit that link in your chrome or edge okay and then check with concurrent user how much time it is taking so let's say if single with single user if it's taking six to eight seconds so with concurrent it will definitely take more than 15 seconds and let me highlight you one thing this concurrent user testing you should definitely do for direct query okay with import mode for whether it is single user or concurrent user it will show same or little bit only two three seconds of difference will be there but in case of direct query why it will show huge uh, difference between the loading time with single user and concurrent user is because if five to six people are checking with direct query you all know that with direct query the data source is there on the database okay in sql other database whatever it is so at the single time five to six people are going to hit that okay so definitely with concurrent user direct query will give more time so always check loading time of report and let me tell you the idle standard time of a bi report it should be less than 10 seconds only okay if it's taking more than 10 seconds so definitely your power bi report is having performance issues then work on that performance thing second point is like of rls working or not properly so your client has given user access management sheet then you have to connect that with your if let's say if it's a client one on region basis so connect with uh, region column in your dimension table then create roles create dynamic rls write dax also user principal name and specifically on email also you can give region also okay then check with view as and all those things and the most important thing where to check is in power bi desktop to you check but in power bi service you have to check in that security roles and make sure the email ids which are there the which client has provided a user access management sheet that must be the part of workspace with viewer role or either in tenant or in aad aad azure active directory either this two to three uh, there should be the user should be in the that workspace or in tenant okay and make sure the user <coughs> make sure user is having viewer access only and always check in power bi service also okay this from my personal experience i am telling now you will say that uh, the client has sent us user access management sheet it is having the client ids also if i have to check the rls then i need to check with client only no you can what you can do one of your power bi developer who is there go in power query just uh, replace one of the email id with your colleague or power bi developer working in team and on that id you can check also that power bi developer must have viewer access okay so this way you should check the rls and make sure before productionizing or before giving to client rls is working or not third point is the most important point okay let me tell you that is ui check and data validation ui check means like check whether the slicers are working properly or not check whether the decimal number is correct comma is correct titles of the uh, column or 
table visual is properly or conditional formatting is there properly or not data type is correct or not check whether the capitalized word and all those things basic basic things which are there that you should check in UI whether bookmark is working page navigation is working toggle is working properly or not okay horizontal scroller vertical scroller is working or not there are many uh, check the data type of date column okay then whether it's updating or not filters you can check there are many things in UI check that is the work of power bi developer also and QA tester also so that also you have to check and coming to data validation what is data validation let me tell you simple thing if your data source is SQL okay and in your power bi report if you have derived any kpi just check the number whether it is matching with sql and how you have to check that if any dax you have written in that logic you have written so same logic you have to write in sql query and check whether the number is matching like say if in uh, kpi dax kpi in power bi if it's showing 20 to 1000 so definitely same logic what you have written in sql that should also show 20 to 1000 only okay and let's say if any kpi has two to three tables okay while writing logic then while writing sql query you have to use join okay if like uh, let's say if basic kpi is there is sum of any uh, particular column then basically you can write some of that column in SQL also but if two tables are there into <coughs> consideration while building the KPI or while writing the DAX so in that case SQL query will have left join or join okay coming to the fourth point fourth point is schedule refresh so see uh, let's say if import mode is there then definitely gateway will, gateway will come into consideration and check ask client like a daily refresh weekly refresh or monthly refresh you want see different clients and different requirements are there i had worked on client who has given daily refresh weekly refresh and monthly refresh also even quarterly refresh also he has given me so ask them what are the schedule refresh time and uh, check proper schedule refresh you have done and also you can check two to three days on your end whether it is proper or not also the main reason why schedule refresh gets failed is because the data type and the name of column doesn't match in sql and power bi so that also uh, you need to check before publishing so whether they are matching or not and also tell database team not to change the name of the column otherwise power bi will not find that column while refresh and definitely it will fail the refresh schedule refresh will be failed and in import mode gateway must be there and in case of direct query or uh, sorry not direct query i would say um, cloud uh, specifically like say azure databricks is there or any other so in cloud you know that uh, no need of gateway and all those things so just make sure that data credential are okay okay and data credentials you need to sign in with that and then you need to set up your refresh okay with cloud i am telling i will write here right now i will write here with cloud Okay, and uh, coming to last point, uh, complete BRD. Okay, <coughs> so check whether complete BRD is followed or not. So in BRD, you know that we write implementation plan or even basic mock reports or whatever KPIs are there with logics we write, uh, whatever visuals were decided to build on that particular page and whether the everything is done or not. Definitely QA tester will check that. Uh, but as a power bi developer you should also check and all data all data means what let's say in your report if from 2015 if uh, he wanted uh, data to 2024 so that also check the start date and mean date properly okay and after fetching the data in power bi the best thing also what you should do at the start of the report then check whether the rows are matching from power uh, sorry sql and power bi also so from this is the best way where you can understand whether the whole data was fetched or not okay and coming to this point with additional new changes in later on calls <coughs> see this is the mo most important thing like when you develop your report in dev environment and when you demo that to the client okay so when you demo that to the client sometimes client check that power bi report and he also comes with some additional values see you can do this thing that things everything so in that case you change the brd and also the later on new additional new changes which client has told 
that also you have to implement in your power bi report and before productionizing productionizing the report make sure that those additional new changes from the client are also implemented in your in your power bi report okay so these were the five things see i have developed many reports and worked on six to seven projects from that personal experience these are the five important things which are important to uh, while productionizing or after productionizing when handling your link to the client so these are the five important things okay so if you are having any kind of doubt make sure you are commenting within one hour i will reply you and uh, subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media especially instagram thank you everyone